but that's, you know, the Einstein um, e equals mc squared theory of relativity. Something to do with gravity? Oh, or is that the theory of gravity? Energy is related you know, like to um, have these theories light about and, time standing and, uh, still. Or like, you know, like the stuff we're made out of. Going backwards. You know what it is? Think of Everything is, uh, is relative. Not my relative. You know, how things relate. Relationships. Right. Relatives. Relationships Brothers, are sisters, hard. great aunts. Sometimes you can't relate. Distant cousins. Human relations. You know, family. That's Some of this family. gets personal. So. The distance between yeah, that, yeah, between people, just, also kind of energy. Uh, put that, time in a little capsule. Oh, I think relativity oh, yeah. talks about I mean, I love, I love, like, the, 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 the ideas. You're not always just confined, you know? Uh, I mean, like, things you think you can't do, you can do. <laughs> I have no idea what relativity means. Hey! Do you like blueberries? Yeah, I love blueberries! Good, because I got a, I've got a great new recipe for blueberry pancakes. Pancakes. I haven't had blueberry pancakes in so long. How many do you want? Oh, like dozens. But you know what? We should save our appetites for tonight because Karen and Alan have expensive taste. They're probably taking us someplace great. Wow. Well, you never make me pancakes. You're not as good in bed. You want some? That's a whole other side of you, the, the pancake side. Do you want some or not? Well, I mean, you know, am I invited or? Well, sure invited. Well, I mean, I, you know, you're standing here cooking. I walk up to you. You know, you're sort of obligated to say that I'm invited. You know. Doug, you are invited. I, I, I have to seriously pee like a racehorse. Uh, is it running clear yet? Um, yeah, almost. This apartment is, like, uninhabitable, all right? I mean, that's why we can afford to inhabit it. You know, uh, she should really feel free to take as long as she wants in there because, you know, she shouldn't be influenced by my urinary needs. Well, <clears throat> you want me to say something to her? Hmm? No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I mean, you can hold it, right? Yeah, no, he's good. He says it's fine. Nothing? No, don't say no. What? What? Just, can you put something on, you know? <laughs> That's rich. Hello. Hey. Hey, Karen. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard that place is great. I mean, no, I haven't been there yet. Is she, uh... <laughs> no, no, that sounds like we'll have a, we'll have a lot of fun. Um, we'll... Oh, for the love of the I'm... Oh, hi. It's okay, it's okay. I'm gonna shut the... No, it's it's great. I mean, it's really fun all the time. The three of us, it's great. There's, there's just this one tiny little thing, in the bathroom. I mean, every time I blow dry my hair, I blow a fuse, so... <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't need to blow dry my hair, so... God, where's that red jacket? Jim? I was under the impression that anything left here was public domain. I'm sorry. Jen, we have a very important dinner with Karen and Alan tonight. <laughs> Karen and Alan? Come on, I like Alan. I think Alan's great. Well, all right, Dean and I went out with Karen and Alan for dinner, and it was like I had to nurse Dean back to health. I mean, he was like in the fetal position, you know, weeping. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, we got a little drunk, and Alan decides to do a financial projection of Dean's entire life. It was the most depressing night of our lives. Well, I'm sure he's not going to do that with Leah. No, you know, definitely not. No, I think Alan's, uh, you know, <laughs> I think Alan's great. So, Leah doesn't have, like, a business card, does he? Um, I don't think so. Why? <laughs> huh. What? Oh, nothing. Uh. Ah, good choice. So, uh, <clears throat> listen, pal, are you going to talk to Isabella about this whole blow dryer situation before the thing ends in a flaming tragedy? Blow dryer situation? Yeah, blow dryer situation. Amigo, she's, uh, she's, she's, she's blown three fuses in the last week, you know? I mean, we live in a matchbox building and there's six-year-old wiring in the walls. It, it, you know, it's not that simple, okay? You know, I mean, she's got... 
I, I think she's got like a complicated hair or complicated hair. What's in that one? Wait, you're completely now involved in the intricacies of her hairstyle. <laughs> Give me a break. All right. Oh, about uh, Thursday Don't night. Don't start talking about Thursday again, because you know, because last Thursday's game was a fluke. Oh, what? That was a fluke? Because yeah. you lost? See, that's 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 not a fluke. That's a very sad cliche. Oh yeah, yeah. Well then, we'll have to see about this Thursday, huh? Okay then. So we're on for Thursday. Yeah. What are you talking about? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, last night it was dinner with the magazine people. Tonight it's the sister and the husband. I mean, all of a sudden you're Mr. Uh, dinner and Drinks. Thursday is Thursday, okay? I'll be there. Yeah. Hello? Hey, Isabel. Hi. Oh, what is that? Is that what is that place? Is that is that sushi? No, no, um, no, that's fine. Sushi's fine. Okay, oh. 7.30. Oh, okay. I'll, I'm leaving right now. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah. What? You do know that you hate sushi, right? Well, you know, I'll be fine. I'll have uh, teriyaki. Huh? Hey, um, just a word of advice. Yeah? Um, don't try to impress these people. Why not? Because you can't. That means let's get drunk. Oh, there they are. Oh, good. Uh, could you move into our regular table? Sure. Hey. Hey. Oh, hi. Ah, hey. the famous hey. Leo. Nice dress. Hey, Ellen. Come on, no, I got nice another table. Oh, okay. Yeah. Isabel, you look great. Thanks. Hey, have you guys have met. Oh, hi. yeah. <laughs> but it's nice to meet again, so. Sorry. Anyway, Alan loves this place. I know, it's great. Hey, this is Yukio Hosokawa. Hajime Mashite. This man's a legend. You are about to experience the greatest sushi in North America. Mm -hmm. I hope you like sushi. I'm sorry, Leo. <laughs> I cannot imagine how a man interested in architecture and design can look at a plate of sushi like this and not want to eat it. Well, why not? Well, we're eating sushi designed by a grand master. And sushi, though it's delicious, it's not just about food, Leo. Mm -hmm. It's about color, it's about harmony, it's about things in balance. It's about arrangement and design. Alan. A sushi chef is an architect of food. It's beautiful. That's true. But it's a dead fish and no one's bothered to cook it. <laughs> No, Leo. Man, no one's needed to cook it. It's perfect in its essence. It's not about changing its essence. It's about experiencing something in its purest form, ah. just as it is. And sometimes that can be amazing. I want to say hmm. But don't, sometimes people might die. I mean, if it's not prepared right or something. No, 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 no. That's just the blowfish. Don't worry about that. The blowfish. Yeah. I think you should start with Yukio's masterpiece, the sweet shrimp head. Wait, the, the actual head? You probably wouldn't believe in a million years you'd put that in your mouth. But if you do, you will have an incredible experience. Because he interprets them, you know, because he's really sick <laughs> in the head. Let me see it. <laughs> I don't think you have to do this. No, 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 I want to. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of my business card. This is, this is a good card. Come on. Here. Check, check me out in shot. Really? Oh, boy. Yeah. Leo Roth painting, no job too small. Mm -hmm. 
job too small? Leo, why not say no job too big? That's good. Why not say Leo Roth, uh, master of the universe? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Leo Roth, master of all things large and small. <laughs> ah, finally, the blowfish. <laughs> I remember when I popped the moment. That was good. That was good. That was, good. That was incredible. Careful. Whoa. Doug, 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 you, my friend, you have got to try this. No, no, everything we thought about sushi, we had no idea. No, no, because Alan, what did Alan say? We'll forget. Okay, no, I know, I remember. Alan said, it's not just about the fish. It's about life and balance. And, and, shh, cut it out. All right, you got to try this one. See? You gotta try this. You gotta try this one. This is the E-Bot. <laughs> e what do you mean? It's not I am I. No. You're just looking completely wrong. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Come on, try it. Try it. Come on. Really. Oh. Come on, try it. Come on. Come on. Come on, really? Come on. Yeah. All right, we had, had no idea. I mean, it's astounding. from work this afternoon because I felt like I needed still some time to figure out where all my stuff goes, you know? Yeah, well, don't mind me. I'm just uh, making a little lunch. Uh, raviolios? Oh, no. Thanks. Oh, they're good. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, my God. Uh, do you know where the uh, can opener is? Oh, I reorganized the drawers. Silverware goes in the left. Uh, knives and spatulas in the right, and then I put pot holders and dish towels in the bottom. Right, so w where's the can opener? Um, I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so, Doug, I just found these sketches, these design sketches of Leo's on, on the desk here. Oh, yeah? Were they, was this, I mean, he went... To school for a while, right? I mean, to uh, Cal State, right? Yeah, um, a couple of years. Yeah. Was he, was he, like, serious about becoming an architect? Yeah, he said he was. Yeah, because these are, these are incredible. <clears throat> hey, um, incidentally, about the um, blow dryer situation. Blow dryer situation? Yeah, I mean the um, the wiring in the in the walls here is just, is like ridiculous. I mean it's it's really dangerous. So. I know it's an like electricity situation. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get an electrician in here. Well, I mean yeah, I mean, we could have an electrician come down here and and charge us several thousand dollars we don't have to fix something we don't own, or we could you know just not use the blow dryers. <laughs> I mean we're sort of like a a hair gel household, you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Okay. All right, thanks. Sure. He actually said that? He said oh. we're a hair gel household? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. You know, this whole thing was really weird with Doug. I mean, I think, I think he's really pissed off at me. I don't think so. Yeah, you're right. 
you know, I mean, it's, you know, it's the whole situation. You know, you're all adjusting. I don't know, it's got to be hard for Doug, too. I mean, give him a break. He's got to feel a little, um, encroached upon, right? Yeah. I probably shouldn't have moved the furniture. You moved the furniture? No, I mean, no, I didn't move all the furniture. I just, Leo just asked me if I wanted to make myself at home, so I, uh, did. <laughs> Nobody's ever gonna notice. What do you think that is? I have no idea. Wait, no. No, no. Bro, no. no, don't do it. Why not? Because I, I don't think we should touch it just yet. Well, I'll tell you something. Whatever it is, it's definitely some sort of chick thing. Doug, what is a chick thing? I mean, did you ever listen to yourself speak? Hello? It's Rhonda. Oh, hey, Rhonda. Um, so tell me, is, is, um, is there anything in this room that looks, uh, at all unfamiliar to you? What, the Hopi ladder? Hmm. It's a really nice one. Unbelievable. Look at this place. Oh, my God. Somebody actually mopped the floor? Yeah, it, uh, it's Isabella. She's trying to domesticate us. Also, a chick thing. God bless her. Yeah, I feel like I'm in an I Love Lucy episode. You know, she's rearranging furniture. She's grilling me about classes Leo took in college. What? Yeah. You're just jealous. Oh, please, I'm not jealous. You know, don't be demented. Leo, Isabel is the best thing that ever happened to you. Don't let Doug's homoerotic jealousy screw it up. <laughs> uh, okay, you know, in a minute, I'm going to start getting defensive. No, wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm, I'm not going to screw this up. What, what does that mean? Good, don't blow it. I mean, you should be catering to this woman's wants and needs. Listen, if I had it to do over again with Sylvie, it would... Well, what would you do differently? Nothing. You know, because our breakup was entirely her fault. Anyway, is Isabel around because I can pretend no longer that I want to be here with you two? You know, actually, she's a Karen and Alan's, um... And I'm gonna go pick her up because uh, she has never come. She, uh, she, she, she's over at Karen. How, uh, how is Karen anyway? Who's Karen? Who's Alan? The, the, the sister and her affluent husband, and Leo now is the model his life on. Uh, yes, because I can't model my life on yours. Yeah, well, you know, then I'll, I'll drive with you. What? Yeah, I'll go for a ride with you. Fine. What are you? Let's make sure to use the lesbian exit. The roommate, Doug? Sure, hi, fine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Wow, I tell you, it's a lot easier doing this in your garage than it is on the slopes. All right, Leo, I was thinking about you last night after dinner. Should this concern me, Alan? <laughs> no, I was thinking about for your business. You have a business? I, I never I never knew that. No, I was thinking about your financial outlook. See, I'm a financial planner. Oh, oh see, I, I already do that uh, for, oh. for, for Leo. Yeah, yeah, I, I found actually 35 cents in his jacket pocket the other day, you know, that wasn't earning interest. And, uh, well, my plan is to uh, invest it in the can of ravioli also. Uh, well, Doug's just saying that I don't really have, I mean, I'm not ready to... Invest? Right. I can understand that, all right? But it might not be a bad idea to think about starting a relationship with a banker for the future. Hey, Alan, sorry we're late. I just, uh, I found myself chemically attracted to this new, uh, shoe store on Wilshire, and I think I just vaporized our entire savings account, so. Hello. Hey, guys. Hi. So, hey, Karen, how hey. you doing? Oh, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. <coughs> oh, my God, are these your skis? Oh, Karen and Alan are going skiing this weekend. Great. 
Hey, are these the new ones? The, uh, what, what are they called? The parabolics. That's right. Are they really, like, totally incredible? Is it true that they make the turns incredible or what? Oh, they, they are so great. They've got this radical side cut in them. Yeah. So that you can really carve the turns, you know? It's an incredible experience. It's like you become part of the mountain. Have you ever tried the parabolics? Uh, actually, I don't, I don't ski, actually. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think that you two are coming with us this weekend. Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean that. No, we couldn't do that. <laughs> oh, 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 that's great. It's a great, no, that is such a great idea. Can you know, come? Really? Oh, my, yes. Okay, Leo, you're coming, right? Well, um, I don't... Leo, remember the sushi? Yeah. Take the sushi, triple it. That's skiing. change things around too much in here. No, no, no. Doug? Yeah? Hope it's okay. I mean, Leo said that I could take a crack at, you know, trying to minimize the clutter in here, so. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's very nice. And I hope this isn't too weird. I am. <laughs> I bought this. Oh, the Hopi ladder, yeah. Yeah, you know what it is? Are you kidding? I mean, uh, Leo and me have been uh, looking for one of those. That's a, that's a nice one. Yeah. Look, yeah, there, it's, no, it, the room looks great. It's just, um, there's one, it's not even really an issue. It's just that the, uh, the, the beanbag chair had a kind of place in the room and it oh. was really comfortable. Oh, great. That's great. I just, um, I don't know. I just moved it because, uh, it was... Blue and I just thought I should move it over. Yeah, that I mean no, that's a good point. It's uh should mm, I should move the chair back. No, no, no the room looks great. Really? It looks good. Okay. So, um so did I tell you that I, I found some drawings of yours? Um some design sketches that you did for an architecture class? You found you found them? Some drawings? Yeah, I mean I mean they were just they were on your desk. They were under some newspapers, but I, w I wasn't I wasn't snooping or anything. I just huh. I found them, but um they are really good. I mean you're really talented, Leo. No, see they were just they're really nothing, you know. But thanks. You're welcome. Okay, <clears throat> here's the thing. Um, I, uh, I know that chair is blue, all right? And I, and I know that it doesn't necessarily uh, match with in, uh, anything uh, in, in, in the room here, okay? But I happen to like that chair very much, and I also happen to find it extremely ironic that you'd have such a difficult time finding a perfect location for it when it already was in the perfect location. Uh, let me demonstrate. It would be right over here <laughs> in front. Of the television set. Doug, Doug. Okay. And uh, sometimes when I'm not, you know, sitting and watching my favorite mud wrestling program, I like to do a little reading with my lamp, which is now back where it should be. Hey, Doug, this is not the best part, I think. Now, sometimes I like to, you know, eat in the beanbag chair, and it is uh, actually at perfect level to be eating at the end table, which incidentally <laughs> is over here and should go right there. Okay, now. Doug, I'm sorry. I'm not, uh, I'm not mad at you, Isabel, I, I, I'm, I'm not. I mean, uh, I now understand that Leo, you know, asked you to move the chair, and, you know, why should he, you know, have any concept of how significant that chair is to me, because he's only seen me sitting in it every single night for the past 15 years! Doug, don't talk to her like this, okay? Okay, I'm talking to you like that, okay? Doug, he didn't tell me to move that chair, I mean, specifically, I just, I didn't know. Look. I'm fine with the fact that you're here. I really am, you know? And I genuinely think I've tried to welcome you uh, in every way that I can. Um, it's just that, you know, I live here too, okay? I mean, it's my apartment as well. And um, quite frankly, if I have to negotiate every square foot of this apartment with you, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. And, and you know, nobody wants that. Trust me. Great. One more thing. The can opener. Hmm. Goes in the top drawer, not in that little tin thing. Okay, oh, thank you. Good night.
So we got a ski suit with goggles. We got gloves and hats, and my dad has this great sweater that is gonna look mm -hmm. so good on you if I can find it. Oh. Oh. Hey, hey, don't look at those. Stop. All right, I went through a pigtail phase. It wasn't my fault. Karen tied me up and pigtailed me. You guys uh, ski a lot. Yeah, my dad loves it, so. Right, yeah. You know, I was, I was wondering how much it's gonna cost, you know, the 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 skiing, you know, because I've never uh, skied before. I was just wondering if, if I can cover it. Well, Karen and Ellen are paying for the condo, so that's covered. Um, could get kind of expensive. I mean, like, you know, like 150 for the weekend. Oh, each. That's if we cook in. Yeah. Where's this? Um, that, oh. That was a summer house that we rented a couple summers in Santa Barbara. Oh, nice. Summer house, huh? Mm -hmm. What do you do there? Uh, croquet? Daiquiris? Yeah, when the weather's not good for polo. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? This is... This is a bad idea. You're right. It's, it's way too expensive. No, 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 no. no. It's okay. I, I really just wanted to know how much it was going to be, you know? Are you sure? Yeah, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it. It's okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. One thing, I, has there been a nuclear spill in the area I should know about? Because it's, you know, I mean... <laughs> Not today, no. Uh, so you're going to wear that to the game? Because it's, well, I mean, it's cute. Oh, wow. Um, Doug. Um, oh, wow. Doug, I'm what? I promised Isabel. I mean, uh, Karen and Alan are coming over, like, tonight, in minutes, and I, I promised I'd be here. Right. No, oh, right, 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 right. Can we make it another night? Well, no, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, uh, whatever, you know. Ah! Hey. Hey. Whoa! Wow, look at this place. I love it. What is this, a loft or some sort of renovated tenement? It's so far, man. What is yeah. it? It's so raw. It's base. It's great. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go scrape me up some roadkill for dinner then. <laughs> Doug. Uh, Leah, Isabel, Karen, Alan, always a pleasure. Funny guy. Nice guy. Hey, uh, you want something to drink? I have a, well, beer and water. water. Flat water. I would love water? it. Water, okay. Yeah. No, oh, my God, look at this hope ladder. You know, this is a nice one. Here you guys, come here. Oh, God, that's beautiful. Thanks. That looks great. Alan, come here, look at Leo's sketches. Leo did these? Yeah. Wow, that's a good rendition of the Seagrams building. Huh. Oh, look, there's a Frank Lloyd Wright there. Mm. Oh, these are good. These are good. Are these etchings or... Are these uh, tracings or freehand? Oh. Uh, whose work is that? Is that Van der Rohe or Johnson? That's uh, Philip Johnson. Leo, I... Look, I just, uh... That's a gorgeous frame, huh? Thanks. I, I, I forgot I have this appointment I have to, um... Tonight. Um, no, don't leave, Leo. You know, I, if if I don't leave now, I, I won't make it. And uh, sorry, um, but I'll be back. And feel free to. Bye. He told you these were his, his designs. No, no, it didn't. Mean, I... Oh God. I mean, his name was on them. I. No, and these are really, they're famous buildings. <laughs> All right, 
<clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna find the place. What? You know, an apartment, like by myself. I'm thinking about getting an apartment, not a big deal. I just. What are you talking about? Leopold, come on, man. I mean, you know, you're in, uh, you're in a relationship. Yeah, I, I know. I'm in a relationship. Well, anyway, uh, you know, Isabel snores too much. You're not all you're cracked up to be, and frankly, I'd like to explore other relationships. Oh, look, Doug, Doug, stop talking nonsense to me, okay? No, 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 no. It's not, it's not nonsense, okay? I mean, here's the thing, okay? You have to look around you, you know? I mean, you're living with a woman, right? And she wants to, uh, she wants to have a place with you. She doesn't want to have a place with us. I'm not making a big deal about it. I just, um, you know, I don't really belong there. And I think that's kind of clear, you know? Look, Doug, I'm... Your putt. Hit the ball. You know, exercises in a class, somebody else's work. I know. I don't know why I didn't tell you. Yeah, I wish you had. Well, it just seemed kind of important to you, apparently, that, to think that I had, like, designed one of the major buildings of the 20th century. Oh, no, Leo, it was just a mistake. No, what I mean is, is that, uh... No, I just really wanted to believe that 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 you just loved me. I mean, for what I, you know, what I was, what I am. I do. I know, but but you know, I can see it. You know, I can see that, that you're you're disappointed. Leo, that's so unfair. You should know, you know, that I don't I don't have um, much money, right? I do know that. No, I mean, really, not much money. I mean, not, so not much that you can't even conceive of it, right? Oh, I can't even conceive of it. Is that what you think I am? Well, I may never, you know, we may never have. You know, what if we didn't ever, you know, have things? That would be okay. Or didn't go skiing. So what? No, 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 not so what. You know, that's just it. That's what I mean. I mean, maybe you want it to be so what, but it, it is not, you know? You can't hide it. And you shouldn't hide it, you know, because that it's real. Okay, Leo, I... I, I don't know what you want me to say here, okay? I mean, I can't help the fact that I know how to ski or that or that my family happened to have a, a, a vacation house one summer. I mean, I feel like what you're basically saying here is that who I am is a problem for you. And, and no matter what I say or do or... And I feel like Doug is, is like poisoning you against me. No, he isn't. Because I am trying, okay? I mean, I got so upset about the chair. I mean, the stupid beanbag chair. It's just, so move it back. It's not about the chair. I know that, Leo. It's about me. Isabel. I mean, he probably hasn't sat in that chair in a month. Oh, whatever, you know, because he's moving out. to say because I mean you asked me to move in here I know okay that quote we're going away this weekend and we'll get some space what I just I don't know No, I'm, I'm just not a skier, you know? It's not me. But you should go. You know, you should go. We, we don't have to spend every minute together.
So, um, how do I look? Mm, I don't look scared. This is a good idea, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, like you said, we don't have to spend every minute together. Right, yeah. You know, and it's been snowing all week, and uh, it's a good time to go skiing. Yeah. And it'll give you and Doug a chance to talk, so. Yeah. Uh, all right, so, um, I'll, uh, see you tomorrow. Okay. Did you guys leave? Listen, man. Um, I want to. I want to talk. Okay. Uh huh. Doug, I feel like you and I know each other so well that we, uh, you know, we never actually talk. So, you know, about our relationship. Can I just express to you that I'm now completely terrified? Right, right. Come on. I mean, it's just upsetting, you know, because in the past, I felt like, you know, no matter what happened to me, you know, no matter how weird things got in my life, I mean, I always felt like, you know, I, I could come to you. Well, you know, for bad advice. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Well, the thing that's upsetting right now is that the thing I need advice on is, uh, is you. All right. I had no idea how complicated it would be for the two most important people in my life to be sharing a bathroom. All right. <clears throat> Some more bad advice. All right. Share the bathroom with whoever's better in bed. Well, you know, of course, that would have to be you, but... Of course. Of course I know that. And where is, uh, beautiful Isabella in here? Uh, she went skiing. No, no. <laughs> Let's see, you know, as your uh, counselor regarding matters of the heart, I have to strongly advise you to go on as fast as you can and, and, and get that chick before she, you know, she uh, falls madly in love with some studly ski bum who really is Italian, you know? I mean, you seen that woman on vacation. <laughs> yeah. What? Well, I mean, it, it's not really an option right now, you know? I'm kind of at a crucial sort of financial juncture. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I can, uh, I can give you a loan, you know? Uh, short term, high interest. I mean, it's nothing that, uh, you know, Alan would approve of, but a little something. Or, you know, whatever it's worth. That's it. That should cover the trip up, right? Yeah, right. Because I see we, we don't want to make any big stops for lunch. I want to spend as much time on the slopes this afternoon as we can. Where's... What? No, I don't know. You know, I thought this was going to be, like, our weekend. So. Well, Karen, if you didn't want them to come, maybe you should have... Should have what? While they're standing there, say, you know, excuse me, Alan, this was supposed to be our romantic weekend. I mean, how sad is that? Just forget it. I... <laughs> it's humiliating to even have this conversation, okay? Am I right? All right. How do I, I fix it? I think, you know, it? Leo and Isabel, I'm... Maybe they'll be a source of inspiration. I mean, we can watch them and take notes or something, right? Hi, the door was open. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. What's wrong? Oh, <laughs> nothing. It's just, you know, I, 
I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like he's changed or, um, or I've changed. It's just all so changed somehow, you know? Oh, Karen. <laughs> no, it's, I, I mean, I, I don't have what you and Leo have, you know? The, the door was open. Uh, hey, Karen. Hi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so. So, uh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we need two seconds. doing here when I was eight we we moved you know to a new block and I met this skinny weird kid <laughs> named Douglas Kroll and, and he had a stutter you know his words would just trip all over each other as if he couldn't say everything he wanted to fast enough and uh, he was just this weirdo <laughs> but but in his own mind he was like the master of the neighborhood. And he showed me everything, you know, all the best places. You know, the best hill to skate down and like shortcuts to everything and... Doug didn't need to do that for me, but... You two are really lucky. Yeah. You know, that you still know each other after all these years. It's really clear to me now, you know, how, uh, how fragile it is. I mean, how easy it is to lose people. Yeah, Elizabeth, I want, I want things, you know. I, I don't want to live in a place where, where there's brown water, you know. I, mean, I want those drawings to be, you know, mine, my designs, but maybe they won't be, you know. I just don't know right now. You know, maybe, maybe I won't be good enough. Maybe you will be. Japan in 98, I guess. <laughs> no, see, that's... Hmm? <laughs> well, I just find it interesting, you know, how some people um, decide to uh, pull the wafers apart. I mean, if you pull the wafers apart, right? One wafer invariably ends up with uh, no cream. I never thought about it like that. Okay. There's cream, right? It holds these two wafers together, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when the wafers get separated, uh, you know, what becomes of the wafer without any cream on it, you know? Mm -hmm. they, it just gets thrown away, you know? <laughs> totally isolated. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, it's an issue because they're very sensitive cookies. Yeah. I mean, they're also really uh, obsessed with uh, their self-image, you know? And, um, so, I think this cookie, you know, this wafer, if it just has a little bit of cream on it, you know, then, um, you know, it's reminded of, uh, the fact that it's part of this whole thing. Yeah. So you're saying that Leo's the cream? What, uh... Is Leo's cream? I don't know. Are you saying that Leo's the cream? Or are you saying that I'm the cream? Because I, I feel like you're the cream. You feel like... Yeah, and, and I don't want you to feel like this creamless wafer. You know? Because, I mean, that's that's really not true. Right. <laughs> you know, first one. Talking about Oreos, right? <laughs> 